see that? My daughter wants to arm wrestle me because she thinks she's much stronger than me. I am. You are. Look, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. What is that, Bonnie? It's some rain. Not much. But right now, anything is better than nothing. So, thank you, Lord. Well, y'all, it's too dark to show you. But the rain is here. Coming down sideways. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Yay! Well, this is a lovely sight this morning. Yep. So far, only about four tenths, but we'll take whatever we can get. Just dropped my son off at camp. He's going to a day camp in Danville, Virginia with Parks and Rec and they're supposed to kayak today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Not complaining though, because this rain is beautiful. Glad to see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is good. This is good. This is good. Mm. Gotta feed the Hummers. I forgot yesterday. Y'all, I just spent 10 minutes trying to find my raincoat. I have to go to the barn and get some hamburger and I kept thinking it was gonna stop raining. But it hasn't. And I'm not complaining. This is amazing. This is good soaking rain. Good soaking rain. We're singing in the rain. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to sing good. We're singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Okay, that's about all I got. Yay! And my phone's getting wet. Hey, y'all. I haven't done one of these little truck chats in a while, but I've had a lot on my mind the past few days. And I've been reminded more than once today and this week how very much I personally take for granted in this life and I think that we all do so you know life life is precious life is short life is sweet and um, I think it's just important that we take a moment to remember that to tell those people in our lives that mean something to us how much they mean to make that phone call, to write that note, to send that text or that message and reach out. And um, we're all in this thing together. All of our stories matter. And we just don't know. We just don't know what life's gonna hold. So we need to hold on to it as tight as we can while we can. And those people that mean the most to us. That's all. It's trough this time. <laughs> hey, Dottie. That's Dottie. Woodrow, the weather station. He's doing good. He's been collecting some good rain. Yeah, we got two inches, actually. One and a half and four tenths, so right at two inches. And when I say trough, I'm talking about the fact that this is where I come to make phone calls and do office work that has to be done over the phone because it's where I have service. <laughs> Yay. So, um, oh, exciting news. I got word today. Where am I looking? I got word today that it looks like there's going to be millet going down tomorrow. And if millet goes down tomorrow, that's a wasp. Um, it's got to come back up. It's got to get raked and rolled. So, woohoo! 
it's not going to be long now. And it's been a while. It's been a while. So, that's exciting. Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm doing something very different for me tonight. So, all right. We have a neighbor, an amazing friend and neighbor named Jim, neighbor Jim, and he has been supplying us with bukus and bukus of tomatoes, which is amazing, right? I've been eating tomato sandwiches every day for lunch, but I wanted to do something different with them. And one time, several years ago, I had a friend give me a recipe for tomato pie and I made it and I loved it. I'm pretty sure my husband didn't love it but I'm pretty sure I ate maybe the whole thing. I loved it. And I've been wanting to make another one. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I could not find her recipe though. I could not find it. So I found some online and I'm gonna piecemeal them together and come up with something. See, we've got red, green, all the tomatoes. <sighs> this is what we're doing. I don't think it's gonna be very hard, but I've gotta let them, I've gotta let them drain and dry. So I cut them up and I put salt on them like Paula Dean said to do. And now I'm actually gonna put them on paper towel and let them drain that way or dry or dehydrate. And they're not dehydrating. I don't know what you would call it. Anyway, they need to, the moisture needs to come out of them. And um, that's what we're doing. So let's see how this goes. We also, we also have barking dogs. Lots of barking dogs. Um, I don't see anybody, so it must be a horse. A horse in the woods. Anyway, I did like three or four tomatoes. Of course, I'm not measuring this. I'm just going to do it. And I bought a pie crust because I don't make pie crust. I can't do them. I shouldn't say I can't. But I don't do them very well. And tonight, I need to get this done. And I need it to work. And I don't need to waste time. Because I got to have supper done in the next 30 minutes. We'll see. It's pretty. They're very pretty. So, these are going to get put in the bottom of a pie, pie crust. Layered with basil. I have basil. I have real basil outside. I got to go get it. And sauteed onions and a mixture of shredded cheese and mayonnaise. That's what we're doing. Hello, children. Did you find something to bark at? This is my somewhat sad looking little basil plant. I mean, not really, it's not that sad. I don't know, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at growing herbs. I'm just gonna pluck some off and we're gonna use them. Oh, I think they need to be washed. Definitely need to be washed. I see you, Gustafer. I see you, Bonnie. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to mix cheese and mayonnaise. It says a cup of like mozzarella, a cup of shredded cheddar, and a cup of mayonnaise. I was just gonna bat, uh, grab a big handful and just for schnots and giggles, I'm gonna measure this and see how close it is. Okay, this is my handful. All right, I'm putting it into my cup, measuring. Y'all, one big fat handful is a cup of cheese. Who, who needs measuring cups? Not me. I'm doing the same with this. <laughs> and I'm making a mess. Well, I, I put the rest of the bag, it was just a little bit. Okay. And now I'm gonna mix in a cup of Dukes. And we're about ready to put this thing together. For what it's worth, I did not use my hand to grab a cup full of mayonnaise. Who do y'all think I am? But I also didn't measure it. I just spooned it out. And it's all gonna work out in the wash or the pie, I hope. Actually, what I need is not necessarily a tripod. I mean, unless it was attached to my head. It's just another pair of hands to be able, I need somebody, I need somebody here to video me doing this stuff because I need both of my hands. But anyway, until that day comes, this is all, you, this is what we got. So I'm gonna layer 
gonna layer the, what are these things called? Tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. Actually, no, I just, I just say tomato. Does anybody really say tomato? I mean, I guess they do. I don't know them, but I'm sure that person exists, which is awesome. Probably across the pond. It's probably what they say. I might have cut too many. In fact, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Those got spots on them anyway. Okay, so we have our tomato. And then we do a little more salt. And I might have a little too much salt. And I use coarse ground kosher. I don't, I just, that's what I like. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna put salt on it, let's let's be able to taste it. Let's let it crunch. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this basil that I did wash. I'm not always great about washing stuff, but I did this time. <laughs> and okay, we're gonna do that. Hold on. Okay, so I layered the onions and then spread the cheese mixture on top. It's going in, if I can get my hands under it, it's going in a 350 degree oven until it's done. Maybe 30 minutes, we'll see. We have fresh corn as well from Neighbor Jim that I'm gonna boil. And I've got some okra I'm gonna fry, so. I'm also gonna have to fry some hamburgers because my husband is kind of averse to eating a meal without meat, so whatever. In every attempt to keep things real around here, I'm having, I'm having some moments. The pie is doing well. The okra on the other hand, I, um, I put it in buttermilk. I don't think I should have. And then I mixed it with some breader and I got big clumps. So it's more like, it's more like okra fritters. Uh-huh. Hopefully it's going to taste okay. Um, also, when I was chopping the okra, okra, not, I was not chopping okra. I would not do that. I was chopping okra and I was going too fast and I cut my finger. I don't know whether to say this on YouTube or not. But I put a band-aid on my finger and it's missing and I'm afraid it might be frying in the okra. I will look for the band-aid and I will not let my, my family eat a fried band-aid, I promise. This is me. This is my reel. Okay, there's no sign of a band-aid. So maybe it came off in the wash, the wash water. We're gonna hope so anyway. These are really good. Mm-hmm. And here's the tomato pie. I think it's gonna be all right. Okay, so tomato pie update. Um, I forgot to peel the tomatoes for one thing, so there was a bunch of strings. It was still a tad bit runny. It tasted good though, it did. It tasted good, so that's what matters, right? Right, Bonnie? Bonnie's finding, gosh, oh, it's so much junk on my floor. All right, let's look back at this. Even though this is messy, it looks better than the floor. Okay, that's all I got. That's all I got in the kitchen this time. Happy tomato pie making if you choose to give it a try. There's the cutter. Our neighbors are pulling tobacco. And so I wanted Austin to see it being done. And I will, I will show y'all some. Michael is a neighbor. Well, he doesn't live, he doesn't live right here, but he grows tobacco. And that's actually our farm over there. Anyway, so he said, sure, come on. So I'm gonna take some pictures and take a little video. We're getting a ride. Ready? It is. Yeah. This is a good little field trip, right, sissy? Yeah, get it? Go, you can follow him and see what he's doing. I pull it from the bottom up. I know that much. Put it in the trailer and haul it away and come back and get more. It's all done by hand. There 
is so much tobacco out here and this is this is really good <laughs> he just said this is this is really good this is top shelf these guys get it done and they get it done fast they just filled that thing up in like five minutes oh it's so much i'm so glad i've never had to do this <laughs> my dad so my dad we had an uncle no a cousin my dad's cousin was a tobacco farmer and growing up he always threatened that you know if i didn't find other work by the when i got old enough to work i'm coming in here get out of the way if i didn't find a job when i was 15 or 16 and able to get a worker's permit that i was gonna have to go pull tobacco with cousin donnie so i found something else to do okay so that load is done they just put like a little wrap over it i'll take that one to a barn called bolt barn and bring in another trailer so in our county Ta um, Tazewell County tobacco was definitely king for a very long time not nearly as much as there used to be but obviously there's still some and there's the next one ready to go and these guys are so fast to arm wrestle me because she thinks she's much stronger than me. I am. <laughs> you are. Ready, set, go. Are you going to even try? Oh my god. Come on, start. You really are strong. I'm not going to lie, I'm shaking. <laughs> you think I'm going to let my eight-year-old beat me at an arm wrestle? <laughs> you are really hard, though. I'm pushing with all I have. <laughs> I'm not even trying. You're not trying? <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> You're not trying? I'm trying. I'm like seriously <laughs> trying. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting you This win. one, this one, this one. I'm not lying though. That was really hard. Ready, set, go. <laughs> this is my bad wrist I broke. And that's oh. my bad arm. <laughs> <laughs> that was seriously a fight. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a little concerned that it was so hard to beat you. <laughs> okay. Your hats to have a beat all I'm gonna have to start lifting weights. somewhere cutting hay there he is there 
And he's rolling. Well, this ain't bad. So this is the millet that we reseeded because our river bottoms were flooded last year. So we reseeded with millet. Um, we would typically have already had a first cutting by now. It is July 26th. Yeah, we should be on our second cutting, but we weren't able to plant until late. So this is what we got. He was not super happy with the stand. Felt like it should be taller. He thinks it might be the variety he used. He was advised one way, maybe it should have been something else. But it is what it is. Still gonna be hay, hopefully good hay. Maybe just not as much as we wanted. But anyway, we'll be raking and rolling before long. Hopefully within three days. Good and green. If you were here for my first hay video, you saw some not not great quality grass hay. So this should be this should be better. Weather has cooled a little bit this week. Last week was horribly hot and horribly humid. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me because it's windy. This week it's dropped down to the 80s. We even had some 70s. We finally got two inches of rain last week and that helped a lot. So, here we go. scared I'm gonna fall in that ditch <laughs> so here's the other not all of it but um, one of the biggest fields that still needs to be cut Wow, oh, there's really big bugs down here on the river bottom there's everything's bigger the bugs are bigger Mosquitoes are bigger. Woo! The potholes are bigger. It's like it's like the Texas of our farm. Everything's bigger down here. So yeah. I mean that works. See, it's just he had hoped it would be about twice that tall at least. We'll do a little, we'll do a little show and tell, so you can see how tall it actually is. I don't even know if you can see me. It's about waist high. How tall that is. Good news is, if you were also following along, you know we've been having trouble with the air condition and my in my 4440 which is important to me um it has been completely replaced so barring anything crazy going wrong the air conditions working fine that's good barring anything else breaking down or not working we should be good to go and a horse fly the size of my head is in here since I opened the door. That's fun. I'm currently doing a 20 point turn. Come here, buddy. 
a 20 point turn so I do not get in the hay field. Hold on, let me explain you this. Ah, I got it. You see that? It's huge. And a little juicy. There's another one. Oh, and per usual, it just told me my fuel level was low. I have issues. I have issues filling up my gas tank. Oh, he's done. He's he's on his way here. Okay. Good deal. Ooh. Yeah. I've hit that hole with my truck.